All right, more fun. This time I'm on the steering shaft, the uh, bottom half of it. I'm gonna get that out of there. I think I gotta take that bolt the whole way out because I think there's a a little uh, ridge or a, a groove cut around there that it splits into and it won't come off without taking the bolt all the way out. So it's rusty, but uh, I got her loose. I think that'll be it. I probably still have to bang on it or something with this BFH to get it to remove. Let's find out. Well, let's see if it'll just pull. I doubt it. It never does. Nope. Yeah. You're probably not supposed to do this. Don't tell my buddy. Yeah, I thought as much. Huh. Well, I'm going to have to dump the camera and do this on my own because um, it doesn't want to come out. Yeah, I should throw some PB on there maybe catch it tomorrow morning. Well, this is a little better. Instead of hosing it down with PB, I just stuck the Gordon Freeman to it and it starts popping right off. Now, Throw the BFH at it and see if it'll pop the rest of the way off without running the steering gear. Well, of course not. That would be easy if we can have that. Whoop! I think we got it. We got it. Cool. All right, so here's this little bastard. Let's see. Um, while we're in there. Grove in there. Um, I think not really. No, maybe. Yes, no, maybe. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. B A start. I don't know. Um, hey, turn on, turd. I said turn on, you bastard. There. All right. Let's see. Is there a groove? Oh, it feels like there is a little bit of a groove. It might be worn in though. Uh, it's on the one side of the shaft. Or maybe that's just how it fits in. Uh, it's on the back of the shaft, I guess. Uh, what's that notification? Oh crap, my battery's dead. Yeah, not dead enough. Oh, so the other problem I found out here, which is lots and lots of fun, is that starter will not clear the engine mount. I measured it and it didn't seem to be a problem, but then I didn't realize that there was another piece on there, those things. And the other, the, the old starter is too long and it won't miss that bracket there. So I'm going to just take the old starter and uh, do a little bit of chopping on this bracket to make it fit. Well, first of all, we'll have to shove it in there to see exactly where it doesn't fit. But I got to take like an inch off of that bracket with the rubber and stuff on it. And uh, that should be it. All right, got the steering shafts out. Um, this here is the Chrysler weird funky thing that sticks up through the uh, firewall makes a seal-ish. And got, uh, I'm pretty sure that's, I know it's 36 splines. Well, they're mostly worn off, but there's 36 splines supposed to be in there. And it's a three quarter inch. And this only fits on one way. It's a D thing. That's plastic. That's what goes into the steering column to go to the wheel. This here is the Chevy part. It's double D. Oh, screw you. Now what I've got here, I've got a couple things to test. I've got a three quarter inch piece of all thread. That shoves up in here like that. I'm thinking I might weld on both sides of it to figure out something or maybe grind a nut and put a, a jam nut on it so that this will turn in that well it won't turn in there but it needs to be able to go in and out <laughs> yeah yeah get out yeah oh hey baby <laughs> so what has to happen is this needs to slide into here and then this here needs to go up into the steering column 
And then this needs to go out of here into that hole. <clears throat> so now, let's see what size that hole is. I think I measured it as a three quarter. If it's a three quarter, I'm gonna, yes, cool. All right, tomorrow morning I'm going to Krause's. I'm gonna pick up the three quarter inch tap. And I'm gonna tap this, I'm gonna thread this hole because it's way big enough, plenty big enough. Then I'm going to thread that into it. Then this rides up on that. There's, that's gonna be about a five inch long shaft extension in between there and there. This rides up on that and then rides back down. This shoves onto the steering gear box. Uh, this, shove, this shoves up into the column first. And then basically, one light, ouch. Light, hey light, there we go. All right, so it's laid up kind of like yonder with uh, that, oops, ouch, I'm leaking. Oh well, I got plenty of fluid left. I topped it off last night. Okay, so this hair, first of all, this goes up into the steering column shaft. Then this hair threads into that. Once I get the tap and I, I tap it so I can thread it. Then this shoves up into that, that shoves up into the middle of here. Then I drill a hole through that, through this also, put a pinch bolt or a bolt or whatever you call it. Anyway, I shove a piece of fastener through there that'll, that's not too big but not too small, so it uh, grabs. And then, well before I do that, I have to hook that into the gearbox. But then, once this is all in position, it's going to be about like that. Yes, that's a power steering fitting. I have brand new ones in this box here. It'll be about yay big. And then that's pretty much just the layout. I don't have to weld anything. I just go through here with that all thread. Let's cut it to length. And that jams up in there, but good. Whoops. Okay, so this needs to be collapsible for the sake of collapsibility for in case it's a wreck, plus it needs to be collapsible because I'm going to have to be able to move this back and forth on the shaft to fit that down onto the gearbox. There's my PB. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Go home, go to bed, get back up in the morning, go buy some pieces and head to the shop and a little fabricizing. fabricizing. I'll probably get two extra, well I got two extra nuts for that, don't I? They're in the bag. Here we are. I got a whole bunch of extra nuts. Star Supply is awesome. So I'll probably put a nut on one side and a nut on the other side. Just as a lock nut, just to hold the thing in place. Maybe a washer on this one. That should do it though. Well, there she be. I think that's about the the best way of doing the steering shaft on this thing without spending a whole bunch of money and tearing a whole bunch of stuff apart and getting into a bunch of welding and stuff that probably ain't going to hold up anyway. All right, well, I'll see you later.